There you go. Oh, it's that, seating. That's wonderful. That was a, no, no, we can have, we got, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, oh, no, sitting's good. Yeah, right? I'm tired. <laughs> I know. How are you doing? Yeah, I mean, you've been busy tonight. Uh, yeah, we were here at 7.30 this morning. Yeah, right. So oh, it was a long day. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm high as a kite right now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Just, I'm really 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 happy mm -hmm. yeah i think the whole night went great my girls were here they got to see oh, me get inducted oh. so it was really lovely it was just a fun night it was saying mm -hmm. hi to so many people i haven't seen getting to perform with brian and everybody else is lovely absolutely and of course yeah. you were inducted to the canadian music hall of fame celebrating yeah. your fabulous career uh, when you look back what what are the things that you're most proud of <sighs> I mean, uh, I mean there's there's so many. I can't believe it's hard to say it's been 30 years. It's a bit embarrassing, but it, it has been. I got signed when I was 19, and uh, um, I think I'm really proud that I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still able to to, to make music, and, and people Juno still care, yeah, yeah, not, and uh, make Juno like award, right? I yeah. mean, this is. I know I'm still going. I'm yeah. not done yet, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really grateful that I'm. Mm -hmm. I can still make music and still make a living, and people still care what I have to say and have to sing. And mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, I'm really proud of Lilith. I'm proud of what we accomplished there. I'm mm -hmm. proud of every record that I've made. Mm -hmm. um, I've I'm so proud of my music school. I have a free after-school music program in Vancouver yes. now in Edmonton and Surrey as well. And uh, we have over 1,100 kids in the program, and it's completely free for at-risk and underserved kids. And uh, Amazing. we've had many, many, many amazing success stories. And it's probably my before, other than my kids, my greatest joy mm -hmm. to, to know that I am part of that. Were you able to benefit from great music education when you were younger, or is this something that you just have realized is important? You know, I, my mom and dad really encouraged me when I was a kid. I got, there was music lessons in school. I had private music lessons. Um, I had every opportunity. Mm -hmm. I had choirs, so it was, it was all around me all the time. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I think you know in BC, for instance, uh, the 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 whole music program for elementary schools was just cut this mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. which again it's just it's heartbreaking because we know now that at least two years of musical um, education for young children it gives them better math skills, better science it's skills, better academics. Music. It's yeah. not just, yeah. you know, never yeah. mind the fact that they're going to be better human beings. They're going to be mm -hmm. more emotionally aware, mm -hmm. more understanding of their own emotional worlds and the world around them. Mm -hmm. They're, they get better in school too. They're, they're mm -hmm. going to be more well adjusted. There's just, there's better community around it. There's just so many things, and so many important things that music offers for us. Mm -hmm. Who was the music teacher that changed your life? Ah, oh, the music teacher that changed my life. You know, Judith Rabinovich. Um, mm -hmm. I met her when I was 19 years old. I was struggling in Vancouver. I had a hard time. I was losing my voice singing. Maybe I was 20, and um, she was a vocal coach. She is a vocal coach, mm -hmm. and she, she's amazing. Um, and she just gave me some really great tips and tools for, mm -hmm. you know, staying the course and being able to, mm -hmm. to push through and do two-hour shows. Mm -hmm. Did you say that's when you found your voice? No, that's when, well, that's when I managed yeah. to keep my voice. Which is pretty important. Yeah, yeah because I, I kept losing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was singing an hour show, and I'd just be trashing my voice every night. And so, mm -hmm. you know, she got me. She had these rather unorthodox, maybe they're not that unorthodox, but she, you know, had me go out and run around the block as fast as I possibly could, lie down on the ground, and pant. She goes, that's how you should be breathing. Now sing for me. And so mm -hmm. she showed me how to use my diaphragm and how I, I actually mm -hmm. wasn't breathing properly. I wasn't bringing in enough air. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it made a huge difference. Just so, like really simple thing like that. And well, it was thanks. a huge help. So. so I'm glad that we got all the records after that and all the performances after <laughs> yeah. that. So we appreciate it. We've been talking to so many artists uh, throughout the weekend as well, and it, you've inspired so many people, and so we are grateful, uh, and everyone's so grateful to, to have you and your music in our lives. Thank you. So I'm thank grateful you. to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for your time you so and coming back here. My pleasure. And congratulations My pleasure. on everything. Thank you. And please feel free to grab some candy, candy if you're from hungry. the candy bar. Oh, God, that's the devil. I know. Is it? Well, <laughs> whatever you need. It's like a, yeah. Between this and <laughs> <my dad. laughs>